Welcome back everyone, this is Recon Stewart, and today we're continuing the in-depth CDU tutorial that uh, I'm attempting to do for all of my viewers. Again, I'm not an expert in any of this material. I am utilizing uh, the A-10 flight manual and just trying to go through each of the systems and explain what they all do uh, so that we can all have a better understanding uh, of the entire system rather than just the waypoint system or just the offset system. Um, I think that if you've got a complete knowledge base about what everything is in this, it makes it easier to understand. So that's what I'm attempting to do. If I say something that's wrong or I'm incorrect about something, please uh, fix it in the comments section. Uh, let me know so uh, I can get it corrected. All right, uh, let's get started. Uh, today we are going to go over the three uh, systems on the page knob down here in the avionics auxiliary panel and all the information that these three things will show us. So the first one uh, is other which we're actually not going over today because that allows us to utilize these uh, function keys FSKs uh, 1 through 5 system navigation waypoint offset and flight point management what we're going to do is go over the other three position steer and waypoint so let's rotate the knob to position and as you can see uh, the present position latitude is um, right where our plane is flying and it shows on line 3 LSK1 left LSK1 that our norther, northern latitude is 36 degrees by 27 by 5 well it keeps changing uh, but you can see that it's moving and then your present longitude uh, position is in line 4, uh, Western 115, 37.0, and again it's changing. And then our present position and grid sphere spheroid is displayed as WGS84 right here. And if our Iggy system is not aligned like we did much earlier, uh, this would just display 7 asterisks. All right, if we move up to uh, LSK right one, we can see we've got a rotary switch uh, marked by the up and down arrow. And we can hit LSK right one to switch between indicated airspeed, true airspeed, or ground speed. Right now we're on ground speed. And uh, if we're not aligned, then this again will just uh, display uh, three asterisks. So here is indicated airspeed. It's showing we're doing 234 knots. If we're on the ground below uh, 50 knots, it will just say 50 here. Our true airspeed is actually 289 knots, and if we're below 70, it will just indicate 70. And then our ground speed is 281 knots, and it will indicate our actual ground speed for taxiing and takeoff and landing rolls. So I like to have that up. Uh, so I can know exactly how fast I'm going. Right below that, on line 4, it will show us our Mach 0.44. And below that, it will show our magnetic variation, uh, which looks like it's east 12.5. And then here is uh, our G-meter on our position tab, which shows that we are doing 1.2 Gs, probably because we're in a 30-degree bank, with one being equal, uh, no Gs on the aircraft. So it can be negative or it can be positive, and uh, probably don't want to get much over 7 Gs in any aircraft, much less the A-10, if even possible. And then, of course, on uh, line 9, it shows the temperature, uh, which is... Uh, nine degrees Celsius and we can change that with the rotary knob on right LSK4 to Fahrenheit and so right now at 12,000 feet uh, we're at 48 degrees Fahrenheit and nine degrees Celsius and then of course on the left side it shows our altitude uh, in feet which uh, may have some variation from uh, MSL to AGL but right here it shows us at 10,828 Okay, that's the position knob. Let's go to the steer knob. 
And the steer point knob allows you to select steer point database uh, in one of three ways. When the aviation auxiliary panel is in mission, and a numeric string from 0 to 2050 was entered in the scratch pad, uh, then a specific uh, nav waypoint is assumed. For instance, I believe that Creech is 666. I could be wrong. Oh, I'm sorry, that's Flex. Flex is 666, so I'm able to enter that. If I enter 1, it goes to the waypoints that we created for our plan here. So that makes it a lot easier. Uh, 52 is Creech. Yes, 52 is Creech right there. 53 is Groom Lake. Just lets you navigate through all of these waypoints to see their information uh, as it exists within the CDU. And then when the uh, steer point knob is set to mark, you can navigate through mark points as it goes. However, we don't have any mark points, so it's giving us an error. Okay. So let's go back to our steer point at Nixon. Actually, go back to mission and let's go to, let's do Groom Lake. Groom Lake's fine. When the uh, steer point is set to mark or mission, it also allows you to search for uh, waypoints via their name. So if I was to type New York and hit in here, maybe it's the other scratch pad. See, I'm learning, I'm learning. New York and hit here. Yep, there it changes the uh, waypoint to the name. So like I created one called Landing.06. That lets me get to there. So you can use either the number or the uh, name that you've given a uh, waypoint in order to navigate to it in the steer point info page. Um, let's go back to Groom Lake though, which is 53. And in line four, it displays wind corrected magnetic heading to steer point in degrees, which is right here. Uh, DMH magnetic heading is 337 for us to get to Groom Lake, which Groom Lake is uh, to the north of us, northwest of us, so yes, that makes sense. Uh, it lets you see the distance to Groom Lake, which is 52.3 nautical miles. It's a little bit changing as we are uh, in an orbit over Creech. Uh, the elevation of Groom Lake is set, but it is uh, an asterisk here as its ground level. At least I think that's why. Um, and then bearing and radial rotary allows selection of bearing to steer point or radial. So the bearing to get there is 334 or the radial of 154. And then if I hit the LSK left four, it lets me go into the waypoint page uh, of that exact uh, steer point that I have. I'm gonna go back to steer point. And then if we go to the right side, we've got time to go, which is approximately 10 minutes from our current position to arrive at Groom Lake. And it says our time on target will be 12.23.38. So if I was to look at our clock, it should be about 12.13 right now. And of course it is. So there is in line 7, right here, a uh, required speed rotary key that will only show up if you've got a desired time on target set. If, for instance, you guys are coordinating an attack and you need to all arrive uh, at 12.30, then you would put 12.30 into your desired time on target, 
and then of course it would give you the speed that you needed to hit in order to arrive there at the right time. And then of course uh, it's allowing us to step through indicated airspeed, true airspeed, and ground speed uh, as well as the position page to, did uh, here on the steer point page. And then it also displays our wind of a direction of 345, which if my understanding of DCS is correct, it's blowing northwest and it's at, I believe that's 10 meters or 10 knots. They've got it, you got to convert it. But I believe this is 10 knots uh, an hour. All right, let's jump into the waypoint page. So we'll select on the uh, AAP waypoint. And let's see here. Line three again shows us what waypoint we're looking at. So this is waypoint five three. We could select waypoint five two, which is Creech, or waypoint six six six, which is Flex. But we'll stay with Groom Lake. Um, we can also change the waypoint identifier. So if I wanted to fly to, let's say, Sarah, and I just type it in here, that's waypoint 292, and it gives me all the steer point information. Um, but we'll go again, we'll go back to Groom Lake. And then time to go for Groom Lake again is 9 minutes 59 seconds. Magnetic heading and distance to Groom Lake is heading 338 for 50 nautical miles, 651 nautical miles. And then we've got on uh, line 5 left uh, the waypoint branch so I can go into the actual waypoint of uh, Groom Lake. And we'll head it back to our rotary knob there. Time to go is 10 minutes, uh, excuse me, excuse me, line 8 is time to go, displays the steer point at current ground speed, uh, 10 minutes 50 seconds in order to arrive at Groom Lake at our current speed, and then uh, magnetic heading and uh, distance to steer point is in line 9, bearing 336 for 53 miles, which is the same as up here, and we can go to our anchor page, uh, if uh, we were to hit LSK right 3, and that takes us to an anchor page. Right now our anchor is bullseye, um, but we can see all of this information at uh, 336, 53, it's on the HUD. It's all there. Let's go back to waypoint page. And it's from our anchor of Bullseye, Groom Lake, from Bullseye, is 156 for 51. Now, I'm not actually sure about that, if somebody can help me out there. But to, to get there is 337 for 50, and from there we are 157 for 50. So it's just the 180 degree opposite is what we're looking at there um, from Groom Lake. To Groom Lake, that's what that is. We're, we're getting our way through this, but man, I'm learning a lot and I hope you guys are too. Let's take a break and we will dive into the function select keys uh, when we come back. This is Recon Stewart. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.